Yesterday, the first drug was approved for a rare genetic disorder that stunts growth and causes rapid aging in children after studies showed it could extend their lives. Dr. Leslie Gordon is a pediatric disease researcher at Hasbro Children's Hospital in Providence, Rhode Island, and she created the Progeria Research Foundation in 1999 with her sister and husband soon after their son Sam was diagnosed. He passed away in 2014 at the age of 17. So Dr. Gordon joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Here. Thank you very much for having me. And congratulations. Tell us what progeria is and how many people are actually affected by it, first of all. Progeria is, as you said, a premature aging disease. It's a genetic disease of, in children, and it's incredibly rare. Only one in 20 million people are affected by progeria, which means that about 400 children today are affected by progeria worldwide. Okay, and behind every new drug like this one, there are families who are taking risks to take part in clinical trials. The participants for this trial, as I understand it, were followed for 11 years. So talk about just what these families go through and where we would be in the drug's development without these trials. We would be nowhere without children and their families flying into Boston Children's Hospital for our clinical trials, actually since 2007. These are amazing people, they're so courageous, and they're really why we are where we are today with a first ever treatment approved for progeria. It's really exciting news. So on a personal note, again, our condolences, you lost your son Sam to the disease. Uh, and can Thank you talk you. about just what it was like to go through such a heartbreaking experience. It takes a lot of courage to face the disease after going through what you went through, and you're facing it head on every day to help other families. So what's it like to now come this far knowing that you had a hand in saving the lives of other children? Well, we founded the Progeria Research Foundation in 1998 uh, when Sam was two. At that time, I mean, I had been through medical school, my husband had been through medical school, and we had never heard of progeria before. And, you know, this is the story of many rare diseases, especially ultra rare diseases. We found that there was nothing out there, nothing, no research going on, no place to go for help, um, just, you know, nothing that could, could push us forward towards treatments and cure. And so we banded together my family and colleagues and friends to form the Progeria Research Foundation to find the cause, treatments, and cure for progeria. And it's been quite a road. We found the cause, the genetic cause, in 2003, and that basically burst open doors of science and medicine for us so that we could push forward and find this treatment, Zokinbi, and initiate clinical trials in 2007 and, and bring this to approval. Wow, and you mentioned it. It must be really hard for most people to relate to this, to what a family goes through. As you mentioned, only an estimated 400 people worldwide have the disease. Children typically live to about 14 on average. How long did it take to diagnose Sam, and what was that experience like for you, not only as a mom, but as you mentioned, as a medical professional who can understand the science behind it better than the average person? Although this is a very rare disease, there are 7,000 rare diseases in this world. And so really, it's pretty frequent that a family has to go through something like what we went through, hopefully not as dramatic because that was, you know, 20 years ago, um, where parents find that there's sort of no place to go. I, I think today there's more out there for rare diseases, but still less than 10% of rare diseases have approved treatments. Um, oftentimes, there's the parents know there's something going on, like we did with Sam, there's something going on, something going on, but the physicians have no idea and really haven't seen something like this before. So it took a while for him to be diagnosed. Um, and then finally he was when he was almost two years old. And one of our goals is to make progeria something that people know about throughout the world and have seen or are, are at least familiar with so diagnosis can happen earlier. And children can get onto this treatment, Zokinvi, and others in the future um, more quickly. All right, well, what a hopeful time and what good news. Mm -hmm. So again, congratulations. Thank you so Thank much for you. joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.